This morning's musing is going to be on a different topic. And uh, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to formulate my thoughts. I don't know how well I will formulate this musing, but I feel like I should talk about this subject matter. And I'm not saying that I'm an expert, I'm just offering my perception and my understanding of it as I am feeling, as I've experienced it. And that's the topic of why um, this, this, this thought was sparked by another conversation on Facebook about um, internalized misogyny. And I don't really know enough about that topic. Uh, I'd have to do some more research to speak uh, more precisely about it. But the uh, thought it sparked in me is um, why I don't want to identify as a woman. And uh, the uh, other person did remark that that could stem from an internalized misogyny uh, in myself. But since I like to dig a little deeper and don't just go uh, on the surface um, sentiments of uh, identifying with a ego persona, for example, um, I don't identify with the role of gender, whether that's man or woman. I don't identify with either because I know that is the realm of ego. And whenever we are basing our reality in the identification of ego, we're going to suffer a great deal in this life. And so uh, I uh, made the comment that I don't identify as the gender of woman or man for that matter. I, I identify as soul which is genderless, which does not have these specified identities. Now, I don't know much about my past life. I don't know anything about my past life, but I do faintly remember that as a four-year-old already, I did not want to be a woman. I did not want to wear dresses. And uh, according to today's uh, definitions, the contemporary definitions, these uh, seem to indicate a tendency towards gayness, being gay. <coughs> I don't know <laughs> if it is that black and white. Um, I lean more towards, like I say, um, perhaps past life memory, or as a child, I did remember, I had more of a remembering of my soul before my ego persona was formed um, by the traditional values in society 
etc. before that ego became fully shaped. But it just was interesting that at four years of age I knew I didn't want kids and I didn't want to be a mama and I didn't want to be a woman, which is very odd. But you know, you have to kind of sort these things out and try and figure out what you are and why you feel these things. And uh, of course, with the uh, more recent uh, internal work that I have done and the soul work and the shadow work, uh, it just makes more sense to me to not um, adopt and identify with the typical roles of that the ego persona will assign to us for this life. And then if we try to fit this, this role, especially trying to be a woman, uh, the definition of a woman is constantly changing. The media is uh, constantly pumping out images and definitions and characteristics of what a successful woman is, right? And it changes. Uh, the trends are always changing. And if you are in a female body and you identify with the egoic persona of woman, you're going to end up in an endless loop of suffering, trying to jump through the hoops of meeting the definition of a successful woman. Ego will cause us to suffer. Because ego always chases the next um, trend. You have to keep up with the Joneses kind of thing. And uh, for me, identifying as a woman, if I was invested in this persona and identifying as a female, as a woman, God, what would I have to change to try and meet that definition? And it feels so contrary to my soul. So I have simply decided to drop the ego identification and go straight to my soul, which is genderless. And it immediately removes the pressure of having to perform as the role of woman in the society and it has freed me up to live as a human being and it has eliminated the um, the pressure of performance and competition that we see so much among and between women and I think that's why women have so many issues with each other, um, trying to outperform each other's image of what a real woman is. And uh, oh, <laughs> I have no use for that. I don't want to live in that world. And so I have simply abandoned the ego player and settled into my soul and uh, I can now live my life as a neutral human being. I don't have to enter into the dualistic competition of male and female, man and woman, and fuel the fires of that firestorm. So I don't know if that makes sense. But this is just a little bit uh, trying to explain why I 
have adopted the genderless or androgynous identity of being both or being neither, just being a human being. And uh, it helps so much. I can get along with men or women equally and uh, I don't have any issues with sexism or inappropriate advances. People leave me alone because I think they sense the energy, the neutral energy that I am not uh, chasing after. I'm not playing the game of the sexes. I'm not playing the game. So they leave me alone. They don't involve me in their petty games. And that has made my life so peaceful. So peaceful. So I choose to live as soul, from my soul, not from my persona identity. Um, and that way I don't have to fight for my persona. I don't have to build my persona in competitiveness, trying to be this accomplished woman. I don't have to be and it's all right. So it's not uh, not that I am gender confused. I just altogether dropped out of identifying with gender. And uh, it, ended the, it ends the suffering because it takes away the expectations of what you have to be. Right? Just be. You can just be a human being. I hope this is helpful in some way. I, like I say, <laughs> just sharing from my experience and how I psychologically work through these hoops and loops just to maintain my peace. <laughs>